Are you tired of lag and low FPS in Roblox? Well, Void Strap vs. Plexity is about to change everything. In this video, I'm showing you the best fast flag settings after the latest patch to boost your FPS and lower your ping. No more lag, just pure smooth gameplay. Let's dive in and give your Roblox experience the upgrade it deserves. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we will do is clean out all the temporary files from your computer. To start, press the Windows key plus R at the same time on your keyboard. This will open a small box called Run. Inside the box, type temp and press enter a folder will appear showing many files. These are all temporary junk files. Select all of them by pressing Ctrl plus A, then hit delete. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted because Windows is still using them. Just skip those ones. Now do the same thing again. Press Windows plus R, but this time, type percent temp percent and press enter. Another folder will open with even more temporary files. Again, select everything and delete them. Just like before, skip the files that won't delete. By cleaning out both these folders, you're giving your computer more free space and removing junk that makes it slower. Step 2. Boost Roblox FPS using Void Strap and Fast Flag Settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. After the new update, Roblox removed many optimization tools, but Void Strap still works perfectly for FPS boosting. Let's test and set it up properly. First, download and install Void Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Void Strap in your Windows bar and open it. Go to the Settings tab. You'll find options like Player Message Logs, but those don't affect FPS much. The real power is in the next few sections. In the Deployment tab, enable Multi-Instance Launching. This lets you run more than one Roblox game smoothly. Also, check out Cross-Game Teleportation. It allows fast switching between games. Both of these make Void Strap more flexible than Block Strap. Then open the Modifications tab. It's similar to Blockstrap, where you can manage your mods folder and turn on older sound or visual settings. Next, go to the Fast Flag Editor. This is Voidstrap's most powerful feature. It shows green check marks for preset flags and red X's for custom ones. You'll also see buttons like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, and Import. JSON. Click Import JSON, paste your Fast Flag codes, and hit Save. These tell Roblox to use your hardware efficiently, unlock higher frame limits, and reduce lag. Finally, open the Fast Flag Settings tab. It has pre-made optimization profiles. You can enable them instantly without typing anything. These presets automatically reduce ping, boost FPS, and improve smoothness. Void Strap also includes Appearance and Shortcuts tabs like Block Strap, plus a new AI chat feature that helps explain flags, still in beta but very cool. After saving all changes, close the launcher and start Roblox with Void Strap. You'll notice Roblox runs smoother and your FPS stays higher even in big games. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we will try another special Roblox launcher called Plexity. This one is very powerful and can give a big FPS boost, reduce lag, and smooth out stutters. Plexity is especially good for low-end PCs, but also works well on mid-range and high-end systems. Start by downloading and installing Plexity from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, search for Plexity in the Windows search bar and open it. You'll see a welcome screen where you can pick light mode or dark mode. After that, you'll see the Roblox priority setting, which controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. 
If your PC is weak, set the priority to high so Roblox gets more power and runs smoother. But if you usually run other apps in the background, like Discord or recording software, then choose Normal for Balance. Once done, Plexity will confirm that the setup is complete inside Plexity. Enable these options. Clean Roblox temp files removes leftover files from Roblox that slow it down. Clean Roblox logs clears logs that build up every time you play enable multi-threaded rendering, makes Roblox use all CPU cores for smoother gameplay. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, speeds up loading when switching games. There's also bottleneck detection, which shows if your CPU or GPU is the problem, but we'll leave that off for now. Next, go to the Fast Flags section. This is where big performance boosts happen. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock, so Roblox matches your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if your monitor is 144 Hz, Roblox can now run at 144 frames per second. Turn on Use Max Frame Rate, which removes Roblox's FPS limit. Set Texture Quality to Low. If you want better FPS on weaker PCs, set Render Mode to DirectX DX, for best results on Windows. Go to the Plugins tab for more tools like Server Info, Ping and Location, and Uninstall Options. Then check the Tweaks tab for extra speed boosts. To install Fast Flags, go to Editor Settings and click Add New. Open your FPS Boost Pack, find the presets, copy everything, and paste it into Plexity Save, Confirm, and then launch Roblox. After this, Roblox should feel much smoother. Step 4. Make Roblox use your CPU. Better with Run with Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your CPU is fully unlocked, let's make sure Roblox is using all of it properly. We're going to use a small but powerful tool called Run with Affinity. This tool makes Roblox use every CPU thread on your computer every single time you launch it. Open the Run with Affinity tool. Inside it, click the three dots next to the file path to browse for the main Roblox launcher file. You can find it by going to this folder, App Data, Local Roblox, and selecting Roblox. PlayerLauncher.exe. Next, go to the Set Affinity section. In the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This number represents how many CPU threads your system has. Choosing the highest value means Roblox will use all of your CPU power efficiently. In the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so you can recognize it later. Under the Run dropdown, choose Maximized, so Roblox always launches in full screen mode. Then click Create Shortcut. This will make a new Roblox shortcut on your desktop that's optimized for performance. From now on, always open Roblox using this shortcut instead of the default launcher. You can even test it instantly by clicking Run Program inside the tool. With this method, Roblox will always use your full CPU power, which means you'll get higher FPS, fewer lag spikes, and smoother gameplay even on older PCs. Step 5. Optimize RAM performance with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. If your RAM is not optimized, Roblox can stutter and lag when memory fills up. To fix this, we'll use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Once downloaded, open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total RAM in megabytes. Divide that number by two and type it into the box called free. Memory is lower than. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. Next, enable these options. Start ISLC Minimize Launch. ISLC on user logon, so it always runs when your PC starts. Enable timer resolution. Set it to 0.50. Now adjust the polling rate. If you have a newer PC, set it to 1000 milliseconds. If your PC is older, set it to 10,000 milliseconds. After setting this up, click Stop, then Start. And finally, click Purge Standby List. This clears unused memory and frees RAM for Roblox. With this change, Roblox will have smoother FPS and fewer lag spikes caused by memory. If this guide helped you make your Roblox smoother and faster, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below with your FPS results or questions, and I'll reply to help. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.